coming to uh, Zagreb in the night by Double Sky and collaborations. Um, we're going to start this performance uh, just explaining to you a little bit about some of the technology that we developed for this performance. Um, and we'd be interested afterwards to tell you more about that if you're interested. Um, but we'd also be interested whether you felt that it helped your understanding of the work uh, to know this information in advance. This has been a research project, and so uh, we have tried both not telling the audience about the technology, um, and today we're trying to tell you a little bit about it before we start, and so please tell us whether that's helpful to you afterwards. This is our star, Helen in the sky, um, and Helen is wearing a number of biological sensors. <coughs> Tucked under here is an armband that's uh, measuring the activity in the muscle. On her head, just under there, is a headband measuring the um, uh, muscle activity in the forehead and throughout the face and the jaw. And then she's wearing a two-dimensional accelerometer on her shoulder here, measures the speed of movement left and right, front and back, and another one on her finger here. Quite a lot of the sound that you'll hear during this performance is generated by Helen's movement and activity of these muscle groups during the show. And the sound that you hear is Lovely. <laughs> right now are being generated from these sensors and so when she's uh, relaxed and still because you can do this stuff in there. Um, so we just thought we'd let you know about that. The other piece of technology that we're using during the show is the cup and you'll see it has lots of flashing lights as you'll see Helen's uh, glowing blue and red. Um, and the cup has a three-dimensional accelerometer in it and you can see data up the back there coming from this cup. So as I turn it upside down, you'll see the z-axis at the end change, back up the other way, and, and so on and so forth. Now Helen's using this cup during the performance to steer images around the space, and in future developments of the work, it'll be used to bring together all kinds of possibilities in the show, and to be a sort of non-linear navigation for the performance. So I hope you, I'm sure you will enjoy the show.